Okay, so today we are going to be talking about one of the most important things uh, that you must not overlook. Now, first we'll start off with your options. Uh, this is obviously a, talking about cooling, so we're going to be talking about radiators. Um, you can go if you have a, if you had a 4.3, you can use the 4.3 that 4.3 radiator that was there. Uh, it they say it works. Um, and if you're looking for fan shrouds, because you're obviously going to be ditching the mechanical fan, uh, then go pick up some Dodge Intrepid fans. Uh, they bolt up. You will have to, you know, figure out some mounting on it and do some, you know, figure out the pinout on the actual uh, Dodge Intrepid ones. I've not done that. Uh, I actually went a different route uh, both times. Because um, I had the 2.8 liter and that radiator, they say, was not good enough. Uh, so what I initially did was I went out and I picked up a radiator off of eBay and thought it was an LS swap one but I mean this was it right here and so you can see this is the way it came see it has this little bow right here um, and it's like that down here too and so it was a and it, it's it's small it's it's actually pretty narrow uh, and it is measures in at 28 inches but really about 28 and a half inches so 28 and a half, 28 and a half inches wide um, and about 16 inches tall so that was that was what I picked up and it was a hundred and sixty something and it came with uh, sorry sorry it came with these fans. I made this terrible fan shroud um, and I learned that I'm terrible at it. So, uh, these are also 10 inch fans. They came with two 10 inch fans. Well, uh, I had some minor issues, but that was down in Mississippi where it was like 100 and something degrees. But I wasn't going to have any issues. So, so I went back to eBay because uh, you can get good parts off of eBay. Uh, don't be, don't let that stop you. And I actually picked up this nice radiator, as you can see, flat, nice and even. Uh, let's see, this is the end of here, yeah. So it's made by, yeah, you probably can't. It says Lux Red. So these are, this is a Lux Red, and it's actually really good. Unfortunately, when I got it, uh, the fan, one of the fans was actually busted. Uh, so, I, and I couldn't find another one that size. So my other option was to repair the other one. And it was a perfect, it was a clean break. I was able to actually uh, glue it back together and then put zip ties. I don't know if it's going to hold up or not, but if so, if not, I'll get like a, two more 12 inch fans, maybe some nicer ones somewhere down the line. Um, but like I said, this is the radiator. Beautiful radiator. I mean, fantastic welds. I mean, they did a really good job. Went with the, uh, they have the OEM uh, fittings. This actually has the oil and the trans I don't know if I'll use them or not because I kind of want to go with like some external ones just because it's it's I don't know it's just a little bit better especially when it's a track vehicle so that was that but here is the fan shroud so as you can see nice nice thick metal too it's a uh, yeah she is very nice and stout um, and so basically she, she bolts right up to the front of it and the reason why this is is these engines tend to run a little warm uh, and I don't know why it, they don't flow as well in these S10s but um, people, there, I've only heard stories so you know you, you take what you hear and you learn from it and so what I learned was everybody said that you need fan shrouds and that's why I had originally built the one that I had because it did it would get up to temp or really high up in the you know high up in the temps and then low go back down up and it just wildly fluctuate so um, I went ahead and picked now that could have been with that that crazy 4.3 liter tune on a 5.3 liter vehicle but you know hey uh, we'll ha we're ha we have that figured out uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this together uh, one of the things that I actually had to do so this is what we got going on here so the original one fit in here just fine as you can see i have this this gap down here 
but it's got these little spots so if I drill out that but I don't want this just sitting you know up against the metal right there so I got some little rubber pieces that I'm gonna stick up in there uh, that should at least prevent any damage to it um, it's not gonna bring it down enough over here I don't think but the first goal is to go ahead and drill these holes out and so but I mean it already looks so much better in there so like I said we're probably gonna have to trim because I have some right there but that lip right there probably gonna have to get trimmed all the way down all the way over there and then because it's got to go up inside this it's got to go up in here all right well so long that's gone all right well we ain't gonna worry about that anymore uh we didn't need that where we were going but so as you can see where that's gonna sit um i'm not too concerned because i can i can i can cut it out and then i can actually re-weld in some stuff to re-strengthen it and so it's not and i'm probably gonna come back over here and add in some stuff over here because you know it's up there right here so i mean it'll be a little bit of work but i mean nothing i can't do and i mean i needed to uh bring this back over here and i'll probably try to find a way because also let's see here i just thought about, i just saw something else that needs to be cut so over here uh right there is gonna have to get cut too as you can see so we're gonna bring that down first uh, it's not gonna come down all the way but we'll bring it down some and then yeah. that way we can see where it's gonna fit but i am getting this back in that that core this is a it's gonna be a really good radiator like i said that other one was only like 20 something inches it's like 24 25 inches wide Whereas this one is 32. So, yeah. More cooling, better. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Uh, I don't know if you can make out this line right here, but yeah, that line that you can barely make out is what I need to take off all the way down. And then there's you know, all of this right here that gets trimmed out. Uh, I just drilled some holes, like I said, I was going to do down there. And then I'll put some rubber grommets that go in between it. That'll help dampen it for any bumps probably maybe even some plastic ones uh just all depends on what i got um but uh, i guess we're gonna have to get out the sawzall and the angle grinder or just the angle grinder uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install it and then we're gonna talk about the wiring of the fans <clears throat> and the relays that we put in here so we have these power wires right here and those power wires are what, you know, those power wires right there are what are going to be powering them. And then we'll take the grounds and go right over there to that ground connection right there. And then we're going to take a ground from right there and go up here to this ground over here on the engine. So I like to have, you know, multiple points of grounding to the engine because you can never have too many grounds. Grounds are really important. A lot of times some, some issues you have might just be a bad ground. Okay, so now let's talk about the wiring of the relays i actually have a video where i talked about wiring uh so maybe you want to go look at that but i'll actually show it to you right now um i'll pop up a image somewhere right here over here i don't know somewhere in that general area and uh this is the wiring diagram that i'm gonna go based on so inside here uh i does not want to come off as yeah anyways uh so inside here we're, I'll just, yeah, you know what, this is how we'll do it. Okay, so you're going to have a relay such like this uh, for, but one for each fan. Or if you're running one with, uh, you know, multiple speeds or two fans with, you know, multiple speeds, some, any one of those natures, um, you still got to have two relays. And it's going to be the same setup as, you know, whether it's just a, a single speed fan or uh, two dual speeds, it's all the same. Uh, so what we got here is obviously a five pin relay. And so what we're gonna do right here is on pin 30. Now 30 is gonna be your main power supply going into it. So this is gonna be your 20 amp fused. 
So you're and you want to use a fairly decent sized wire. Uh, so don't just you know use some tiny little red wire because you're just gonna melt it because it's gonna be a lot of amps. Like I said, this is you're wanting a 20 amp uh, uh, fuse on this. So uh, then up here on 86, you're gonna have your three amp fuse. Now this is basically like the signal voltage, I'm just letting you know, hey, uh, do this, do that, whatever. Uh, so that goes right to 86. And then down here on 85, so this is actually where your, uh, the PCM, which is your computer, sends the signal over to it and say, hey, uh, it's time to cut on. The temperature has reached a certain temperature. And basically it's like a ground. And so it just says, hey, uh, let's do it. Um, and then there's 87. Now there's 87A, but we're not worried about that. We want to go with regular 87 and this is where the power comes out of here and runs over here to your fans right here so as you can see I have it hooked up positive and negative um, now that can change so once you hook it up and you're actually running it uh, you're gonna want to check and see what direction the fans are blowing I have it hooked up like this uh, but once I have the relays in place it tends to mess with things so uh, I actually ended up on the other fans I had to swap them around and actually run it um, the positive on the negative negative on positive but they're fully capable of doing that so don't be worried about doing that it's it's a-okay um, and really that's it that's all of the the wiring there so that is all of that I mean that is really it make sure you use a big enough wire obviously um, and then make sure they're all out of the way and not gonna fall into the belt or something like that. These, you know, things you need to make sure you take care of. Um, but like I said, this is one of the this is one of the most important things that you need to do. And a lot of people just kind of just graze past it, think, okay, it's fine. You know, I got this radiator. Uh, I'll be driving. It's gonna cool it down. No big deal. But what about whenever you're sitting there? waiting in a staging line or just you know anything i mean you're not always driving around and that's why it's good to have the best cooling system you possibly have you've just spent all this time and money putting all this in here and all this work i mean you might as well go ahead and have a good radiator that's why that's where we're at and so uh, there's a few things like my radiator hose because the other radiator was shorter uh it was the it was sitting like right about here where the other inlet was and so it reached over here uh really e it reached e easily but this one it does not which is fine uh i found that i don't see it i found that if you take a silverado one and just because it has that long long section you can actually cut that down and i they have these uh these connections right here and i actually put that in and so it's basically just a factory one. I had to do a little tweaking over here and a little tweaking over down there. But it's the exact, it's, it's, you just get a Silverado hose. And it works great. Um, so that's really it. And I also did pick up these, these fittings right here. So I'll be actually able to run the transmission through here. I wasn't sure if I was going to or not, but it needs to run through somewhere. And I don't have a, 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 an external one at this point. Um, and I may even because I have the connections for the oil. I may hook up the oil and run it over here to these right here I don't know, but we'll see uh, It's not the oil is not that that bad. But I really did want a transmission to be uh, cooled. so That's gonna be it that literally all the cooling I have some more videos coming up here soon uh, just trying to get some stuff kind of squared away and uh, Yeah um, We're gonna be firing up Earl very very soon but I have some uh, wiring issues that, and I'm gonna make a video about it so it's gonna be wiring part two um, and it's gonna be for those same people that are swapping over just like I am so um, see you guys later bye <laughs>